Did you all have a look at the kind of questions we are going to discuss today? Well, the traditional method would take you at least two to three minutes. However, the secret magic that we create is going to take these questions just three seconds. Well, the answer to first one should be That's it. The second one would be Bingo. Well, before the third or the fourth, why not discuss the magical formula and then we do it together? We all know the binomial expansion for 1 plus x whole raised to power n is 1 plus nx plus n into n minus 1 by 2 x square plus so on and so forth. We are only interested in this. Also, please note if it is minus, then it gets you minus here. And added to this, you have to see that limit x tends to 0. Well, if you have this in your question, then it's going to get super simple. Also, in place of this x, we can have multiple functions. We would realize that in the questions. So, beginning with this one. If you see, all of them are the same. x square, x square, x square. And what we do is, 1 minus x square raised to power half, going by this logic, can be written as 1 minus n comes inside half of x square. We are exactly going to do this in both the square roots. So this becomes 1 minus half of x square. This becomes 1 plus half of x square. Please note the constant stays as it is and the power just comes inside with the variables upon 2x square. Now I'm just not writing the limits because this is just a shortcut. You would not be showing so many steps. So these get cancelled. We are left with minus x square upon 2x square. These get cancelled. The answer is minus half. Trust me, explaining takes longer than what you can actually do. And at times you can do it mentally as well. Now moving to the second one, likewise, I see sin x over here. I can still solve the question because we also have this thing in our mind that limit x tending to 0, sin x by x is 1. Right? So we can use this somewhere. First of all, applying the secret magic, we get 1 plus 1 by 3 sin x. Please note, this is cube root, which is whole raised to power 1 by 3. So it comes down minus 1 minus 1 by 3 sin x. And I am left with x. So these get cancelled. We are left with 2 by 3 sin x by x. We all know limit x tending to 0. This will give us 1. So, so the answer is simply 2 by 3. Now going ahead with the same logic. Look at the third question. Again, I can write this as 1 plus half of 2x. And this would also be minus 1 minus half of 2x upon sin x. Now 1s get cancelled. We are left with these 2s get cancelled. And we are left with x plus x that is 2x upon sin x. Please note whether it is limit x tending to 0 sin x by x. Or it is the same as saying limit x tending to 0 x by sin x. Both of them give us 1. So even this vanishes and the answer was simply 2. Coming to the fourth one, we apply the same logic. So this is 2 raised to power x minus 1 as it is. This becomes 1 plus half of x minus 1. These get cancelled. The 2 goes up. It is 2x minus 1 upon x, which is simply log 2. The formula that I have used over here is... Limit x tending to 0, a raised to power x minus 1 by x is log a to the base e. Now again, as it is a shortcut method, so I am just not writing these limits and moving straight to the answer. Wasn't it easy? Look at the fifth one. Now again, the same logic. It goes 1 plus x by 2 minus 1 upon log 1 plus x. These two get cancelled. Your 1 by 2 comes down. We are left with this. 
Now I am using the formula limit x tending to 0 log of 1 plus x by x is 1. So even the reciprocal becomes 1. So this vanishes, the answer is half. Nowhere I am saying that you will not need to know these formulas. But this method avoids getting into all the rationalization and simplification stuff. And thus makes it super super quick to solve. Please have a look. So just for a quick recap, if you have 1 plus minus x raised to power n, then you are just going to use 1 plus or minus nx. Please note here n could be any number x. x can play multiple roles. x could be sine x also, x square also. So look into the questions. And here is a small DIY for you. Do it yourself. Get the answer quickest. I'll be waiting. You know the top three correct answers get named in my upcoming videos. I am sure you enjoyed the videos. If you do, make sure to like the videos, share it with your friends, subscribe to the channel if you haven't done that so far and don't forget to check out the various playlists on my channel. I will see you with a new exciting one. Until then, bye-bye.